everyone please stand. Family and friends, I welcome you here. You're here for a wonderful purpose, to uh, bear witness to the covenant of marriage, but also to add your agreement to this wonderful beginning of a relationship ordained by God. And uh, God calls us to be very supportive, not only in, in words, but also in our actions, our prayer life. And so I want to encourage every one of you to, after this night, to continue to pray for God's blessing, to always be a part of what is going to take place here tonight. So let us pray together and we sanctify this moment by the presence of God. Holy Father, we ask You in the name of Jesus that You would come into this place in the power of Your Spirit, that You would sanctify this moment with Your presence. Let each one, especially Michael and Cindy, be touched very powerfully by Your presence. We ask it in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Michael, is it your intention tonight to... uh, Come and receive Cindy as your wife. It is. To love her and to cherish her for as long as she shall live. It is. Cindy, is it your intention tonight to receive Michael as your husband? It is. To love him, to cherish him, to honor him as long as he shall live. It is. Amen. Michael, will you take your bride? Who gives this woman? Who gives this woman? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. John, do you give this woman to be married to this man? Yes, our family does. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yes. Are you as nervous as I am? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Bible talks about the importance of vow mm-hmm. and that it's better not to make one than it is to make one and not keep it and so by the grace of God I know that both of you are leaning very heavily upon Him yes. and not upon your own strength that we're not a God unto ourselves and so that's why we call upon the God at this time, at this very special time in your life. Amen? Amen. And we do our best in the power that God gives us to be all that God wants us to be. Amen. And so you've come tonight to exchange those vows, to speak those vows to each other. And by the power of God's grace, it, it will be a vow that will hold you together for the rest of your lives. Amen? Amen. So... Cindy and Michael, if you will, turn and face each other and hold hands. Mm -hmm. Michael, I want you to repeat after me. I, Michael Dean, in faith, honesty, and love. I, Michael Dean, in faith, honesty, and love. Take you, Cindy Michelle, to be my wedded wife. Take you, Cindy Michelle, to be my wedded wife. To share with you God's plan for our lives together. To share with you God's plan for our lives together. Turning our eyes constantly toward Jesus Christ. 
turning our eyes constantly toward Jesus Christ. For he is the one who has given us each other. For he is the one who has given us each other. I will always cover us in prayer. I will always cover us in prayer. I will give you all that I have of myself and my love. I will give you all that I have of myself and my love. I will, by God's grace, be faithful to you alone from this day forward. I will, by God's grace, be faithful to you alone from this day forward. I will love, honor, and cherish you until death do we part. I will love, honor, and cherish you until death this, do we part. This is my pledge to you. This is my pledge to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Cindy, repeat these words, please. I, Cindy Michelle, in faith, honesty, and love. I, Cindy Michelle, in faith, honesty, and love. Take you, Michael Dean, to be my wedded husband. Take you, Michael Dean, to be my wedded husband. To share with you God's plan for our lives together. To share with you God's plans for our lives together. Turning our eyes constantly to Jesus Christ. Turning our eyes constantly to Jesus Christ. Who gave us one another. Who gave us one another. With God's Word and the Holy Spirit. With God's Word and the Holy Spirit. Leading and strengthening us. Leading and strengthening us. I will be a strong spiritual example for us in our home. I will be a strong spiritual example for us in our home. I will always cover us in prayer. I will always cover us in prayer. I give you all that I have of myself. I give you all that I have of myself. My love and my faithfulness my to love, you. My love and my faithfulness to you. To you alone from this day forward. To you alone from this day forward. I will love, honor, and cherish you. I will love, honor, and cherish you. Until death do we part. Until death do we part. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Michael, do you have a ring that you would like to share with Cindy? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask the Father to bless this, this ring for it to be exactly what it's supposed to be. A sign of a vow by which Cindy, you are binding yourself to Cindy in this relationship, Michael. So if you will, Michael, take this ring and place it on Cindy's finger, saying these words, I give you this ring, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and with all that I am, I will honor you. I will honor you. And I will love you. And I will love you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Cindy, you have a ring that you would like to share? Okay. Thank you. In the same way, Cindy, I'm going to bless this ring for it to be exactly what it's supposed to be. Amen. A sign of this covenant relationship. Amen. Amen. And so, Father, I ask you to bless it in the name of Jesus Thank you, Lord. and let it be always what it's supposed to be. Never a shackle or anything like that, Amen. but always a sign of covenant love. Amen. Cindy, taste it. take this ring, please, okay. and place it on Michael's finger, saying these words. With this ring, With this ring I give myself to you. I give myself to in you. Covenant love. In covenant love. It is a sign of my vow. It is a sign of my vow. And that with all that I am, and with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, look at me. <laughs> By the authority of Christ, whom I represent, I pronounce you husband and wife. But you both have chosen as the first act of your marriage to share a communion table together. And in doing that, you are inviting God and recognizing God as being at the very center of this threefold cord Amen. that will never easily be broken. Amen. 
by the power of God's love. Yes. Amen. Amen. So please serve one another. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Haggard, in Jesus' name. Thank you. I'm going to have to ask John to forgive me. Okay, family and friends, I want to ask you just to be seated for a little while. What we're going to do is a little unusual, but it's going to work. Uh, the wedding party is going to come back in to take pictures up here at the front. And uh, the uh, people who are putting together the reception are going to, the reception is going to be right here in this room. And uh, they're going to put everything together and and shortly, we'll begin to participate in the reception. God bless all of you for being here. And uh, I ask you to continue to pray and continue to support this marriage in any way that you can. In God's name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. <laughs>